Hello, everyone. My name is Blue Raven 666 and in light of the crisis currently taking place all over the world, I've decided to base this episode of Has Been Hotel Theories on a similar event that ravaged the world from January of 1918 to December of 1920, and how it may have impacted the life of none other than everybody's favorite radio demon, Alistair. For those who aren't familiar, the Spanish flu much like today's pandemic of the COVID-19 virus, was an unusually deadly influenza pandemic that began at the start of 1918 and lasted up until the end of 1920. Despite its name, it's believed that the outbreak came from the soldiers that were fighting in World War I. As Spain was a neutral country at the time, its media began covering news of the outbreak as early as May of 1918. Meanwhile, Allied countries and the Central Powers covered up news of the outbreak in order to keep troop morale high. Some believe that the spread worsened as the soldiers traveled overseas to other military camps. In the end, the Spanish flu, without the knowledge or medical resources that we have today, killed over 20 million people, but the death toll could have grown as high as 50 million or 100 million people. While I was researching this, I found that there were a lot of similarities between how the 1918 pandemic was handled and how the COVID-19 pandemic is being handled today. I'll have resources linked in the description for those who are interested. So where exactly does Alistair fit into all of this? Well, we know he's seen global catastrophes before, as he mentions witnessing the stock market crash of 1929. So it's by no stretch of the imagination that he could have witnessed the Spanish flu outbreak of 1918. In New Orleans alone, the death toll came to over 3,000 between September of 1918 and March of 1919. Given that Alistair died in his 30s in 1933, as I theorized in my Axeman Theory video, he could have been in his mid to late teens or early 20s when this pandemic hit. But unlike in my Axeman Theory video, there was actually a pretty high likelihood that Alistair could have contracted this disease, as the age groups that were most affected by the Spanish flu were those who were between the ages of 15 and 34. A mild case would consist of fever, chills, and fatigue, but could grow so severe that the victim's skin turned blue and they'd suffocate as their lungs filled with fluid. There were three waves of the Spanish flu that hit, if you were still recovering from the first, then you had a pretty good chance at being taken out by one of the other two waves. While it looks like Alistair made it out of the 1918 pandemic alive, I have to wonder if his own personal health was impacted by it at all, or if he lost any family members to it, like his mother, for example. I wanted to make this video because one of you asked me how Alistair would fare amidst today's COVID-19 pandemic. Considering he's already dead and in hell, however, I don't think it'd have any effect on him. Even if he hadn't died at such a young age, I'm pretty sure he would have already passed from old age years ago. But I guess if he did have a way of seeing what's going on in the living world, or a way of getting there himself, he'd most likely just find himself in a lawn chair laughing at our misery and stupidity. I'm pretty sure of it. Seriously, though... Doing this video made me see just how much the COVID-19 pandemic resembles the 1918 pandemic. A lot of the things that happened back then, in terms of how the government and the public handled the Spanish flu outbreak, are the same things that we've been doing amongst our own situation. What I'm trying to say is, it looks like history is repeating itself. Remember that the Spanish flu began in January of 1918 and didn't end until December of 1920. If events of today are turning out to be similar as those that took place a hundred years ago, then we might not even be close to the end yet. I'm using this video to stress the importance of the current situation. While I myself am safe, I do now have friends whose families are being impacted by this virus, so please remember to be respectful to those you are encountering either in public or online, because you really don't know what they're going through right now or how they might be being impacted by it. Stay safe out there. We'll get through this. You're not alone out there.